same vaccine, uh, you can't come. Captain, or, first of all, thank you for having me on your show. Sir, the problem is neither technical, neither it's medical, neither it is bureaucratic. It is all political. I'll tell you why. Because first of all, we were told that you, we have to learn how to vaccinate and control COVID from New Zealand. On 21st of this month, we vaccinate, we vaccinated twice the size, twice the population of New Zealand in one day. Then yesterday or today morning, we have vaccinated more people than what the United States of America has done. And within the next two days, we will cover, we will vaccinate more people than the population of the United States of America. You produce a vaccine which is cheapest in the world. The same variant is sold four times the price in UK. You have a brand, Covishield in particular, 250 million trials on the ground. More than 25 over have taken this. Tell me any other brand in the world which has done 250 million field trials on live population. It is there's no other brand. We have exported 25 million, 25 million vaccines to across the world, and there are no problems. There are 60 countries we are queuing up to ask to get this you know vaccine. Another no problem. Now I want to ask this Mr. Ima, who are the regulators there? Sir. When you came to us at the prime of pandemic and you watched it at CQ, we sent it to 170 controls, 170 controls countries. We sent plain loads full of these at CQ from India, made in India by Indians to your Europe. Why were you popping these medicines like candies? Then where was your regulation? Why didn't you visit the plants? Why did you even you know import this medicine? Why didn't you stop this medicine? Today, because it is the growth of India, this is the growth story of India, they don't want India to take a central stage. You, Rishab, if EMI is a medical organization, or if they are medical, tell me medically what is your point of objection, we will clarify that, and you know all the data, unless and until your, your motive is political, your motive is... No, economic. like I said, so I, I, okay, so Sumit, Sumit, if one is the benefit of doubt given, but beyond the benefit of doubt, I completely agree with you, that if you have a problem, you can so take a... Logic, you okay, we, we, we'll... I'm sure Adar will be happy to send a, send you some plane tickets or, or even send a private jet for a team to come down to Pune and and check out their facilities and see if they meet up to your standards or not. You know, whether the... Yeah, so let's finish your thought, yeah. You see, Richard, the point here is that we have been always been positioning ourselves as a pharmacy superpower. Cheapest vaccine, most potent vaccine covers all kinds of variances made in India. So what do you do to stop us? You see this New Zealand news, this US news. So cast aspersions, invent trouble when there is no. So what are you trying to send a message? Ah, we don't trust this Indian vaccine. We don't know how good it is. But after inoculating more than 25 crore people in India, 25 million people world over, do you have a better clinical trial? Show okay, me no, no, but there are various combinations involved in this. Dr. Bagai, you know, so then it begs the question, uh, how aggressive do we need to be in this? Do we need to be aggressive? Uh, do we I think, uh, Rishabh, this whole problem, this whole vaccine diplomacy is to stop us getting a center stage at the world politics. Because we have seen that Pfizer has been negotiating army bases in African countries in return of vaccine. We have seen that average Western vaccine is four to five times to six times our price. We have seen that they don't have such a big a case study where they have given. Now, with all these things happening, you don't you think it is the time for the politicians to intervene? Because this is a typical triple play wherein the vaccine manufacturers to stock, you know, beef up their prop, uh, profits along with lobbies are working. When pharmacists, so pharmacists become politicians, this is a natural outcome. The best way to handle it is talk to our friends like Prof. Uh, uh, Boris Johnson and Macron and get this sorted out. Because this is a power okay. play. I think that's a, that's a fair enough question. That's a fair enough question, Dr. Bagai. Uh, we have uh, a good relationship.